right, so this is for my own information for certain. And uh, I probably should stick this one on the web because this was a terrific lesson from my AutoCAD support team on uh, creating my templates and bringing over all my layout sheets and fast, I mean, fast, fast. So here we go. So let's say, see what I had is I had DWGs and let's just go into, oh, uh, we created a new one called 2024. So we'll do the plotting template. This one's, so if I open the DWG, and then I want to keep this guy. So let's dock him and anchor it left. Now, um, so once that's there, this thing has got, oh, and it's not here. Okay, so here's the deal. It's not here, but that's not the issue because it is in another drawing. So if I go to like, I think this one has a pretty good one. We'll start here. So I'm going to go to my plotting drawing. There's a decent set of sheets on here. And let's see, okay, in here these tabs are set up. We'll ignore for now. Um, they're set up so that I've got A1 set, I've got A2 set, I've got A3, some extents, I've got then my elevations. All this stuff is just ready to rock and roll, and there's not a drawing in here. So um, and if you look at model space, come on, there we go, and I zoom extents. There's all, every drawing, but they're all just X refs. And that way, well, not that, that's, that's the actual drawing information. That's just to keep me from losing layers. But all these other things are actually just um, they're just the actual XREFs from other drawings. And so if you wanted to check on a drafter, let's say in a larger office or even a small office, um, you can click on open up the drawing file and you're in their drawing without messing with anything. And this is totally screwed. Oh, there it is. It's back. <laughs> Thought I lost some data. So at any rate, it's a really cool thing to have. So with that, I want to say go to my plotting template, which is where I want those types of layers. And I don't necessarily need this small stuff, but I can get rid of that later. The main thing is showing how to do this. So in the design center, I want to go to where this is happening, and that's here. So I'll shrink that up. I'll expand this. I want to grab my layouts, and then I want to look for what I want. So I want a, a well, just basically S, if we did it in order. So let's go A1, A2, A3. There's a a3, but it's actually being developed by an outside company right now, so I'll bring it in because you can always rename them. This has special layer settings, so those layer settings are nice to have. S1 and S3, or sorry, S2 and S3. S1 should be the general notes, and right now I'm ending up with a lot of extra room in another drawing, so I think I'm going to eliminate that, but what I want to show is how to do this. Right click, copy, then I want to go to plotting template and layouts and paste. Is that how he did it? How did he get him in here? Everything is there except for how he got him in here. One second, I'll figure it out, and I'll return to the recording. So all I was doing was overthinking that. If I'm in the drawing, just control V for paste, and they're in there. Um, hard to see them because I got so much, and I don't have them all drug into order. So what I'd want to do is bring them down, put them in order, and um, just 
just get them all set up so A1 goes before, whoa, A1 goes before A2, and you just keep it going. If you hit this, not the plus, oops, you can go here. You can also, I think you can move these. So S2, no, come on. Oh, well, it brought me to S2. So now I could drag it. Maybe, come on, come on. Yeah, it's just me not grabbing it properly. So that goes there, S3, bring it up, and so on. But it's just that control paste, and what a cool thing. So these extra ones that I can kill. And uh, I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to put these right where they belong. And that is just an amazing tip on bringing in stuff. Now, oh, here's the last piece. This is a DWG. And my cursor highlighter is turned off. Sorry about that. Oh, it's not even available right here, but it is here. Uh, desktop. Mm, there. So, there, just move that out of the way. Now, so, um, what I want to do is I want to save as. And what this allows is that I don't have to do a save as as the first thing to make sure I don't overwrite my drawing. If I just change this to a DWT, then it's always going to open a new sheet. So I just got to give it a name. So this is my 2024 uh, plotting. Oh, got to get my fingers in the right place. Plotting drawing. And save. Boom. And you can't see that, but I could add a description. So I keep a lot of stuff in OneNote. So I'm going to put this into my OneNote. With things like, you know, little cool things I learn um, as I go along. <laughs> I've been using this since 1988, and I can't stop learning about AutoCAD. There's so much. So anyway, hope that helpful to you guys. That is a great tip that I just learned from a tech. So I wanted to pass it along. Have a good day. Oh, this is Mark, not Square Design, out of Butte, Montana. And... Um, I didn't put up my regular stuff, so to see my con, uh, if you want to see anything else, here is my contact information right there. And then you can freeze this, because if you do want to contact me, yeah, you can go to my website, um, and there's a contact page with a phone number, but I appreciate that you only call me in decent hours, please. So that's it for this video. Video. Gosh. Have a great evening.